my question is to for dr zakir naik jesus was crucified for the sins of humanity can a person bear someone else's sins with well, as a question that can a person be crucified for somebody else's sin and it's a very logical question part of it i had covered in the rebuttal and i proved from the bible that according to the bible the book of ezekiel chapter number 18 verse number 20 and 21 says that the soul that sinneth it shall die but if he turns away from the sin and does righteous deed he shall not die and neither can the son bear the iniquity of the father neither the father can bear the iniquity of the son means i cannot be held responsible for my father's sin neither can my father be held responsible for my sin a similar message is given in the quran in several places if you read in surah anam chapter number 6 verse number 164 in surah isra chapter number 17 verse number 15 it's mentioned in surah fatir chapter number 35 verse number 17 in surah az-zumur chapter 39 verse number 7 in several places it says that no bearer of burden can bear the burdens of another same message as the zikr chapter 18 verse number 20 that means sin cannot be inherited pastor in his talk let give the example of abraham peace be upon him that god asked his son to be sacrificed and i do agree with the pastor he wanted to test him and at the last moment he puts a lamb that means almighty god he's just he wants to test his messenger but while testing he does not want to harm the messenger he cannot see that the messenger's son dies while testing and imagine now we have that the messenger jesus peace be upon him himself is put on the cross for somebody else's sin it goes against ezekiel chapter number 18 verse number 20 sin is not inherited if adam peace be upon him committed sin i will not be responsible for the sin he has committed and like an example if i give you if i tell you there's a master a rich person he has many servants he tells the servant don't do wrong things etc but they did the wrong things so he tells them see this is my son i love my son and he kills that son and then he says all you servants who used to rob who used to cheat now just believe that i killed my son for your robbing and i will give you salvation i'll give you wages does it sound logical the servants rob they cheat they cause loss to the master master says no worry here's my son i kill him don't change your style just believe just believe that i killed him for your sins and i'll forgive your sins i'll give you wages daily it sounds logical illogical almighty god putting his own son and we don't agree with the son we don't agree with the begotten son as a righteous person as a person of god we agree he's a messenger of god in that sense he's the son of god but not the begotten son of god hope that answers the question